Ooh, Lordy. Barbecue beef. That's going to make a good sandwich. A little more shredded up. Took a big old roast this morning. Stuck it in this crock pot. Let it cook till it was shredding apart. Got my barbecue sauce in there with some onion, some other flavors. Let's get another look at that. You're like, wait a minute, dog man. You just made a big old casserole yesterday. Why ain't you getting on that? It was nasty. Nasty, I tell you. Don't make it. I should delete the video. But I told you I'd be honest. But I guarantee that ain't gonna be nasty. You already had some, didn't you, Rooster? Yeah, she's looking for scraps that might have fell, but I assure you. And then after I cooked it, I tipped out all the broth, strained it, saved it. Use that in other dishes. All right, man. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Mm. Mm, I see it in there. I see it down in there mangling. Mangling and mixing and that barbecue sopping up in there. Ooh, all right. All right, I can't stand it. I had to open this package first because I fight with these things. I fight with these like to no end. I hate them. I'm gonna slap me a piece of. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. These pepper, pepper jack cheese. Have you ever put the cheese on and forgot that paper? Yeah, I have. It ain't fun. I'll tell you what, yep, just one piece. That's all we need. We're just gonna have one sandwich right now. And I'll have another one. Right before I go to bed, that'll get them, them funny dreams going. Yeah, you gotta eat something to hang in. Get them funny dreams going. All right, let's get some barbecue on that. Oh man, let's dig some from the bottom so it's hot. So it'll melt up on that cheese. Here we go. Oh, you got to shape it. Look at that. Smush it. Mmm, barbecue. That's plenty good for me right there. Let's let that hang. Mmm. Now let's look at it. Let's look at that dude. Ooh, barbecue pepper jack. Let's go all the way around. Mm. Can you smell it? Rooster can. She'll get to lick the plate. Uh, all right. Went to the post office today, and there's a key in there. They got them little drawers they put the packages in, and this was in there, and it's heavy. I mean, it's a heavy little box. But, man, it doesn't have a name on it unless it's down here in the bottom, and I'm not digging these out because they're heavy. Well, whoever sent this, this is cool. Look at this. It's a galvanized raised garden bed. I don't know if that's inches, 120 inches by 60 inches. Man, that's pretty good size. And look at there. You put it together, and it's a little raised garden bed. That is cool. But obviously, it's too late to plant this year. I still may set it up. I don't know, maybe do some fall crops in it we'll see what happens but that's pretty cool and uh, that's pretty thick stuff man Let me look down in here see what we got that's yeah, just all you just put it together uh, yeah there's nothing in here so who it's from and some people don't like to have their names mentioned but uh, whoever sent that you know who you are man that's cool I didn't even know you could get something like that I may order me some more of them. That's cool. But that's pretty big, so, you know, you're going to be able to fit quite a bit of stuff in there. And uh, that's cool, because uh, you can go buy them galvanized rings down there at the co-op, but 
you know then you gotta be able to fit them in your truck and all that that's cool that's cool i like that thank you thank you all right i'm out in the screen patio no i did not do anything in here today but i'll tell you what i'm getting sick and tired of sitting around so tomorrow i'm gonna go get paint yeah, you ain't supposed to paint tree lumber for a few months. Let me tell you something. If that stuff ain't dry by now, in this heat, gosh, Lily, it's me. If it ain't dried up in this heat, it ain't never going to dry up. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it. And uh, paint this stuff. Paint what I can. Get the rest of this stuff. Look at that. I just tacked it in. It ain't set yet. So I got some a lot of detail work I can do that... Uh, I'm not gonna get real sweaty and, and I got a fan in here. That thing blows pretty good. Get this place cleaned up. I wanna get started on these squares, get this dug out. I've got a big thick weed mat. Lily, it's me. Oh dogs. I got a big thick weed mat to call this junk up. I'm gonna lay it down, throw some stones on top of that. I got an idea. Y'all will see. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Nobody on YouTube wants to see you. Or you. You guys get hungry? Yeah. I don't have to wait so long to feed you now, do I? You turn the fan off so we can hear you. Because you guys are in here all day. And I'm going to get this cleaned up, too. Still got all this to do, as I've said in the other videos. But... Oh. And I may pick up this board tomorrow. I gotta see where if they got enough of it. These quarters, I'll see. I'm gonna go look through what they got, see what what's best fitting for it. Doesn't need to be thick. You got any particular colors in mind, really? Because you're the girl. She don't care. You want purple? You're not getting purple. You're not getting purple. All right. All right, guys, let me turn your fan back on. Well, yeah, I've been out here walking around looking for snakes, too. I have discovered that tree's dead. One next to it's dying. That one died at some point. That was in a fire. You can see at the bottom there. I'm not going to walk too far. I saw two snakes yesterday. Half of it died. That thing almost fell and killed me. I was walking right under it when we had the fire, but uh, it lasted another seven years and just it never came back this year. So I'm gonna get that ugly thing out of there. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut all them oaks out of there. I have a much better view. See behind there, there's a dead pine tree. That's been dead for a year now. And I'm not sure if they're dead or not, but there's a lot more of them in here that's going brown, probably from the heat. But that one got charred in the fire. Well, that one's obviously dead and the one behind it. So I got my work cut out for me here. That one there's dying. To remind my junkyard. You live out on a homestead, you're gonna have your one area where all your junk goes. And this is where mine is. But most of this is scrap metal. Other than these tires, all that stuff in there is scrap metal. And look at that tree. I'll bet you there's snakes under up, up in there. I saw a speckled king snake yesterday. They're pretty harmless. See my big oaks doing all right. All the rest of them seem to be fine. Actually, that one's still alive. It's just ugly. It, it, got, it took a hit during that storm. But I depend on these trees for shade for Libby. It's, there's still plenty of them. And there's another, I'm not even sure what kind of tree this is down there. Hold on, let me get down there. And this one is dead. So that will be coming down this fall. I'm not gonna cut them all down at once, man. And this ain't nowhere it's gonna hurt nothing. I don't know what kind of tree that is. I sure all know now. Some people can look at the uh, bark and tell. There ain't too many varieties here, mostly oaks, pines, and cedars. What is that, another dead one in there? Yep. Part of it, part of it's dead, the rest of it will be dead soon. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Some of these need to be thinned out so the others could do well. All right, guys, 
Let me get these dogs fed and we'll be back. Now here's Miss Libby. Are you ready for supper? Boy, it is nice and cool in here. That's why you hang out in this corner. It is. It's really nice in here. Good breeze. Yeah. But I can't trust you as far as I can throw it. You can't. No. And I'm going to be thinking on ways to get her. I'm going to have to buy a fence that's five feet high to make her some sort of a bigger yard. But I don't think I want to keep her over here. I want to get her in some more shade. You know, you're not getting an air conditioner. No, you're not. You're still healthy and young. And she's not too young. She's probably eight. Yeah. What do you want for supper? Huh? You want to order off the menu? No. Three, two, <laughs> All right. You're going to do it? Boy, that was interesting, wasn't it? Not really. <laughs> no, we're going to get get some work going this week because I can't sit around no more, guys. We're going to we're going to get these paint. I got electrical to run. I got that plumbing to do. So we're going to start it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any more live streams until I get that Starlink dish put up on the pole. Uh, the last two times I tried were failures. Couldn't even use the couldn't even use the video, uh, so I had to delete them. But it just it's terrible. And I did some adjustments on my internet settings today, which has helped. There was a good video on that. I'll have to show that in another video. But uh, you got to have your numbers set up just right. And I did find something else out. You do not need to download the Starlink app. All you have to do is type in the router address in your browser, and that app comes up. That's right. You don't need the app, Jeff. Everything that the app has is in there in the router. Uh, but it's I got too many obstructions out front, so I need to move it out a little bit. I've got 70 feet, 5 feet of cable, and I think that's a 10-foot high pole, so that should help get above some of them. But the biggest obstruction is that mountain there but uh, if I can maybe get away from some of those trees that's going to help but I, I don't understand why that's you know I can I can upload a video fairly quick uh, download a song like that but it won't do a live stream some kind of different different setting or something for that I don't know I don't know I ain't gonna pretend to know but I'm going to get to the bottom of it, I guarantee you. you know, I ain't paying $135 a month to not be able to do a live stream. But anyway, uh, so we'll get some work done this week. Tomorrow, heading out bright and early, going to the hardware store. See what we can get. May just stick with the painting. I really want to get that done because I got to put the paint on before I trim. I want to do that before I trim and it'll look better. I'm tired of looking at it the way it is. And I don't really like that track, that track cover on that screen. I may be pulling that uh, off and covering it up with wood. Because I've noticed in the heat, it warps a little bit. So, especially at least on the one side it is where the door is. Uh, that whole board in the center of the door, it's warped. The heat's just, man, it's dried out too quick. So. All right, guys, we'll probably try to get another one up tomorrow. Happy trails.